And I'm moving on into the kitchen, the Hampton Road Show kitchen, on this Monday morning to talk with Chef Maurice Wilson from Voila Cuisine Internationale. This morning making colossal shrimp wrapped in applewood smoked bacon with apple fennel slaw. What a way to start the week. Exactly. It's going to be great. <laughs> great to have you here. Thank you. And look at that shrimp. You yeah. really, uh, you weren't kidding. Yeah, colossal, colossal shrimp. Colossal. It's, it's a great way to, to use the term oxymoron, you know. It's like <laughs> this, is, this is putting a whole new spin on it. What we have here are these really nice colossal prawns, which are um, just very large shrimp. And um, we're going to wrap them with a little bit of applewood smoked bacon. Mm -hmm. We're going to sear it off. We're going to do it, um, the Asian, I mean, excuse me, the uh, apple fennel slaw. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we're going to um, hook that up for you. Yeah, some great ingredients. And uh, is that what the prawns mean, that they're bigger um, shrimp? Large shrimp, and most of the time they're freshwater. Okay. But that's what we're going to do here. We're going to just take this prawn like this, roll it up. It's pretty simple. Right. If you and can see that. And the applewood bacon, you just kind of wrap around. You just exactly. you know, you, you just got it all right, really. Yeah. The the bacon, we love it here, for sure. Secure on the like Hampton that. Road Show. Ah, hey, may I try? Sure. I'm going to wash my sure. hands. Okay, okay. To, uh, to see if uh, this can be done easily by someone who uh, is not an expert. <laughs> it's simple. It's simple. Very simple dish here. You can do it. It's great for the, uh, for the weather that's coming up for the spring. We get the, mm -hmm. the grill going on. We're going to pan sear these, but you can also put them on the... Uh, there you go. You can try put that right Put them in the right oven. There. Okay. Exactly. So uh, you have the uh, seasoning there. Yeah, we'll put a little Cajun spice on it. That's nice. Start at one end. Yep. Okay. Just like so. And you Turn rolled it, it. Yep. like this. Kind of, okay. It's a little bit hands-on and a little messy, it's but little I guess bit. you have to be prepared for it, and the uh, results are certainly <laughs> worth it. <laughs> okay, why doesn't mine not look like yours? Oh. So you need to start from one end and just kind of... Okay, that means what? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. One <laughs> oh, I see. You mean like roll it yeah. toward the uh, the tail? Exactly. Okay. Here that way go. the bacon cooks evenly, and you don't have undercooked bacon. Uh -huh. You know, you want your bacon pretty crisp. Yeah. People are entertaining. You know, with Easter coming up, so this really may be a good dish. Simple. Right. Once you get the wrapping part done, uh, and uh, and a nice big punch. Where did you put the? Uh, Just slid it right through the end. Uh -huh. Just pick like so. Does it matter where? Well, where did where, you finish rolling? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> That's great. Looks good to me. Okay, very good. Right there. Yeah, so then what we're going to do, actually, after we wrap these with bacon, mm -hmm. put a little bit of olive oil in the pan, mm -hmm. you know, me over medium-high heat. We're just going to right place there. it right in there. So I know you said that sometimes it goes in the oven. So if you know if you decided you didn't want to pan sear it, you put it in the oven. But we're gonna have to finish it in the oven oh, as you will well finish because it in the, the shrimp are so large that we're, we have a preheated oven at 375 degrees. Mm -hmm. And once we get the bacon pretty um, pretty seared all over, we'll finish it in the oven and it'll crisp up real nice. Mm, can you skip a step? No, you'd nah, rather not. I don't think you should. This, this way, it gives you a punch, just more of a crispiness to well, the like, shrimp. Well, it starts off. You know, you want to uh, kind of sear it off, mm -hmm. and then when you put Finish it in the oven. It's going to cook the shrimp through. Because I, don't, I don't think you can cook these large shrimp through in a sauté <laughs> pan, you know? Because they're so they're large. They're pretty large, correct. Very nice. So we're going to work on that. And then in our next segment, we're working on... We're going to do a um, lemon Dijon vinaigrette. And then we're going to do the apple carrot fennel slaw. Okay. Lots to look forward to. Chef, thanks very much. You're welcome. We'll be checking in with you in a little bit. Roadshow Kitchen with Chef Maurice Wilson making colossal shrimp with applewood smoked bacon and the giant shrimp in the oven smelling wonderful. And what you did is you uh, you toasted it on both sides and then stuck the whole pan. Stuck the whole in pan the in the oven. Yes. That's a one stop shopping. Yeah, it is. That's good. It is, it is. <laughs> and what's going on here? Well, I'm just dicing up a little bit of this fennel. We're making a uh, carrot, apple, and fennel slaw mm -hmm. that's going to accompany the, the shrimp. And I'm going to have you um, make this vinaigrette. Mm. You can help me, assist me. Absolutely. I will are. do what I can. We'll just put that as well, vinegar. Hang on. Let's take a look at this. This is the this fennel. This is the fennel. And you cut off the bottoms and the top. I cut the top, the and, top. I, and I took the little uh, core out, this, out the center. Mm -hmm. This is the bulb. And what we're going to do, we're just going to julienne it. Like so. Ah. Julienne basically just means match, match stick size pieces. So that's what we're doing here. That looks Probably pretty enough. good. Then we're going to do this apple. Are you julienning the apple too? Exactly. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. So cut the top and the bottom off and then just slice it right down. Yeah, I just do it like that to make it simpler. I do leave the skin on. Mm-hmm. For a punch, Extra right? bite. Exactly. Okay. 
So back to the uh, vinaigrette here. Yeah. This is this, uh, apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. Here's a little Dijon. A little Dijon. Any particular kind? I know there are no, you, well, you know, kinds out there. It's grape poupon. Grape poupon? It's, it's, it's a great Dijon. <laughs> that <laughs> works well. well. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll get that in there. I'll give you this. So, oh, that so works better. There. The whisk. There you go. Mm -hmm. While you're doing that, we're going to squeeze in a little bit of lemon juice right in there, like so. Okay. Very nice. And so yeah. this will go on top of the shrimp? It's going to no. go, actually, we're going to toss all these ingredients. Uh -huh. The slaw is going to, that's the, the dressing for the slaw. Oh, I see. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add a little bit of crushed garlic. Mm -hmm. Right in there, fresh crushed garlic. Like so. Already great smells. I mean, just those fresh ingredients. A little fresh cilantro. Mm. Add that right in there, like so. Mm -hmm. Whisking away. I'm just going to drizzle a little olive oil in there. Okay. And you're doing this slowly for a reason, right? Yeah, it's we like want to you're a little doing bit it. Emulsify. Do I have to go faster? Just a little bit. That looks good. Okay. Whew, this is hard work. Not tired yet, are you? No. Well, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I won't admit it. Right? We'll just do a little pinch it. of salt and pepper to taste like mm -hmm. so. And that's a that simple salad good. dressing. It is. It is. Very, very nice. That salad dressing goes great on a lot of things. Just greens. Any type of thing, romaine. Mm -hmm. We're going to put the recipe, the how-to, all of that at the HamptonRoadshow.com. Meantime, you're working on the carrots now. Right. Um, and you're not, you know, you can get like the bag stuff, but I mean, it really looks like you can have, you have something that you've made here and it took just a few minutes. Right. What you can do, if you take your time, you know, and just don't, just watch yourself. Like you said, you don't want to lose a finger. <laughs> <laughs> don't hurt yourself doing this. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to work on this, and then in our next segment, everything all comes together. Put it all together. Like magic. Chef, thanks very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Our colossal shrimp with applewood bacon here in the pan, right out of the oven, with Chef Maurice Wilson from Norfolk's Voila. Internationale. Okay, so this just came out of the oven. It's smoking right now. It is so hot. The shrimp's so big that you're not even going to pull off the tails, right? No, yeah. no, no. no. We're trying to just kind of hold it like a stick. <laughs> Actually, I left them on, so when I do the yeah. presentation, we can stick them together. And as you can see, that the bacon is really crisp, mm -hmm. and um, they're cooked all the way through. And you also have to remember to remove the toothpick. That's ding, there, ding, ding. Yeah, don't know. forget to do that because that would be it. Well, there's one right there that I know you're going to not right. forget to pull right. out. But, I mean, right. that would be a, a surprise for your guests, exactly. of course. How long did you leave that in there? I'd be afraid of overcooking. About I know you want to cook it through, right. but at the right. same time. You don't want to overcook it because it'll become tough and rubbery. So we took it for about seven minutes. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to finish this all, put this all together. Mm -hmm. We have little organic baby mixed greens here. Nice. And if you can see that that's the slaw here. It, nothing, anything screams spring. It's this salad here. This is one of the fabulous appetizers that we offer at Walla, you know, which is, which is located in uh, downtown Norfolk in the Freemason District. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're familiar. Hopefully mm -hmm. you are. Mm -hmm. You can come check us out. Great location. Mm-hmm. We just put a little. And you've got a new menu that you're working on. Is this off your new menu? This is this is one of the items that is offered on our new menu, and we're also going to be offering a pre-fee menu, mm -hmm. thirty dollars, similar to like Restaurant Week, three courses. Right. For thirty dollars, that's kind of a deal for uh, for us, and we have a lot of good new items, fresh items, spring celebrating that. That so is great. But when you were talking about these prefixed menu. Uh, and restaurant weeks normally last, what, five, seven days. Right. This is, this is kind of forever? Be, yes. It's, it's going to be all the time offered. Yeah. So, nice. so this is going to be the what greens, we're doing here. you got the salad, and you had already mixed in the vinaigrette. Exactly. In with that. So we tossed the, the slaw and all those items here. Then we just take the shrimp, and we just nestle it on top like so. It's like a tower of goodness. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and we do this, this, this one as well. Just a little, another little one here. And uh, you were telling me earlier what's in this little squeeze bottle, and that's that's a surprise to me. It it's is. It's a good surprise. It's kind of our garnish. And what it is, it's a mango vanilla bean uh, paint, mm -hmm. if you will, kind of like a vinaigrette. Yeah, think about well. that. Yeah. So we just kind of just squeeze it on like so. And so that with the vinaigrette kind of mixes the flavor. Right. And with that, uh, it gives a little bit more body to it because of the, uh, the vanilla, it's mm -hmm. a little sweet. Mm -hmm. Going with the bacon and the shrimp, it's absolutely fabulous dish. Very, very nice. We well, can't wait to try this out. We're gonna plate it up, get you know a few more together right. so we can all try it. Chef, we'll thank you very much. And your Good new month. menu starts when? It starts 
tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Good timing. Thanks for sharing with us uh, this great meal here. Thank you.